south of us that I can't remember the name of. Uh, Nobani. Nobani. Yeah, we're head right now. We're heading towards Nobani <sighs> to sell some merchandise. That's all I really remember. <clears throat> That's pretty much everything that happened. Uh, you could go into. We could go into a little bit more detail specifically what happened with Lucelle. Uh, exactly. in that. Oh right, Lucelle like lost her powers after being revived a bit, and um. Yeah, it fucking hurt. Yeah, and she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to relay back to um, the, their 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 relatives anymore about the goings on. Yeah, because I died. I was released of my of my position. I guess somebody effectively else let go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I could report back in, but you know what? Fuck it. I died in duty. Whatever. And I get to hang out with you fine folks, as long as you, you know you like me. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything that happened. You guys departed, and we uh, ended on the long rest that you guys would have had at the end of that day. We will be picking up, uh, just for purposes of the adventure, I'll tell you, this is day 40. Um, of the adventure. You guys all awaken uh, on the boat. Many of you have already made your way above decks. We'll say for the purposes of this, uh, Kill ha was the sleepiest and was sleeping off the last of their fatigue from being cracked over the back of the head and incapacitated and is probably just now coming up to above deck to join the rest of the party. How does that sound? So this is our first long rest then? So I get to remove one of those penalties from my Yes. Roles. Yes, you have had one long rest since your revival. It's glorious. <sighs> uh, yeah, because uh, you should be able to just move yourself freely between the decks uh, as you please. There um, you go, I did it. How far mm. from Hello. Uh, no Benny? It's a... Nobani. Nobani. Uh, you... Yeah. Uh, if you, assuming that you take shipping lanes to make it there, uh, roughly 205 to 210 miles. That was meaning time, but that is also good to know. But that was also what? I was meaning time, but that's oh, also Oh, uh, 200... Just under two days, if nothing okay. bad happens. Cool. Uh, you guys go, I believe... Or wait, actually, I might be thinking of a different ship. Hold on, let me check the speed of your ship real quick. Uh, huh, must have been your other D&D &D party. Sorry. Okay, 205 divided by 72 is just under three days. 2.8 days, to be specific. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. Uh, would it, you came up, you said, Hi guys, kill. Mm. Is that what you said? No. <sighs> how are you doing? Hello. Hi. Forgot how my voice was. Hi. <laughs> you sound on? a little weird, kill. Sorry, it's, okay. you know, when, when you first wake up, you get the little bubbles in your throat. It's all right. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Hi. How's Everybody. Giggles died, but otherwise I think we're good. You missed Giggles dying. I I, I miss I miss her dying. Mm -hmm. Well, she's clearly <clears throat> back now. Uh, oh, uh, that was my next question. Uh, I got but, me. All right. As long as you're back, that's, that's all hurt. that matters. It fucking hurt a lot. It was scary. I would imagine death is, is very scary and very painful. I mean, I now what would make you think that? And then I just remember waking the, up. I mean, that was it. it depends a lot on the death. But, uh, yeah, it didn't look like much fun. <clears throat> I say, unless you're into that death stuff, I don't, I don't know. There's this people that's I, like that. I do not recommend. No, but I. 
And with that, uh, Lucelle pulls out her, uh, her, uh, her, uh, the, 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 was it the lyre that she looted from that dead gnome? And she tries to tune it and play some music on the, on the boat. So, boop. Nice. So, 17. I guess I could have done either. I guess, well, it would, it would have been the same thing, right? Same roll. Yeah. Yeah, if, if if you have the same bonuses and everything, yeah, is it yeah. also plus seven? Uh. Well, if you're a proficient with the uh, entertainment, you know, the tool, it, it's you. I guess you're, if you're rolling that skills, it's I'm saying performance. Still... Yeah. Is performance so also it's... seven? Yeah. 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 Then yeah, we'll just keep it the same. Okay. So yeah, so she did a seventeen. <clears throat> so yeah, she's not singing. She's just doing a nice little musical, like uh, like a, it's like I wake up, wake up. It's like that one yeah. good morning alarm. That's like yeah. ding dong, ding dong. Yeah. I know. Morning, oh my God. Good morning. Every, it's time to stop. play. Stop. Good morning. Oh. Good morning. I, yeah. That I used to hate that so much. I, me too. So much. I very I specifically, I very specifically remember that one from a field trip, like an overnight field trip that we went on, and my counselor used that as our alarm to wake up at six a.m. every morning. I've oh. never wished violence upon someone faster. <laughs> that was my mom. That was my mom's alarm clock. She would oh, wake God. me up using that alarm clock and then turn on all the lights. Start doing everything she possibly can just to just to you know just be up. <clears throat> my dad was a my dad was a saxophone player, so he also had a trumpet at home, and he oh, would play Reveille God. to wake me up when when for school if what I was not. And he would wait a really long time, and then he would do the next part. <laughs> I, I, it was I, so I, awful. No. <laughs> anyway, um. <laughs> Say it on mic, coward. <laughs> he said, my dad just used to hit me, but... <laughs> um, at this point, uh, I would like to ask you guys, uh, as part of your first real day of traveling without, like, a, 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 the need of a dead friend driving you and nothing else being yeah, there, awesome. I think something occurs to you about really finding places for people on the ship. So I would like to give you guys some of the more extensive ship rules that I'm going to be using going forward. These are all from Ghosts of Saltmarsh. For the first thing, I would love if everybody were to officially take uh, a position on the ship from this list here. Some are already fairly obvious, but uh, there are given things that are listed and specific abilities are only available to certain members of the ship. <laughs> first mate. I claim first mate. I mean, I'm the quartermaster. Captain. Yeah, captain and quartermaster were already assigned. If you guys are both happy with those, uh, yeah. The high and intelligence add... might be a smidge of a problem. And, uh, <laughs> As always, uh, I'm aspiring to be a galley cook too. Okay. Um, which would leave well. So if you want first mate, that leaves bosun, uh, surgeon, and cook for uh, kill Cherie. Who pen is ever to pick from? I mean, I guess I don't have to be the uh, first mate, but. Uh... I feel like that plays into her skill sets. Well, I, <clears throat> uh, 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 as a charisma-based character, I don't know if Kill would want to step forward and try and be first mate, or <laughs> yeah. if that would be too presumptuous. I don't want to speak for your character yeah. if you would say, like, let me do that, because you're not as... I mean... I, uh, it's not like I wasn't thinking about it, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean... Yeah, no, you know what? I think Lucille will go for Cook instead. 
I guess it will be first mate then. If I can go for first mate, I'll do it. Lucille could also potentially be surgeon with their healing and shit. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was looking both. at the other thing. But I don't have good, uh, uh, wait, hold on, property tools. Oh, wait, I can also be a, what is it, a Busan? Is that what it's called? Busan. 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 Oh, no, I don't have that. Oh. <laughs> I have navigators too. It's not fucking. Like Oh, do you have? Yeah. Does Zashi have navigator's tools? I I don't what think was the other thing? not in her kit, but I know I think that's what she's working on right now, learning navigation. Okay. <laughs> Just make sure you guys uh, are still happy with the ones that you have. Um, if there is one that might suit you better, feel free to um switch it around. And it's not, not everything is going to be a perfect fit. This is meant for a more rounded ship, and you guys are just, just six individual people. Yeah. This is also an opportunity for, like, okay, I'll serve in this, but we should hire a such and such. You know? This is a, a, a I, I, this is to essentially further your guys' thinking. If you're not like, super, yeah. I feel like I'm more suited to be, well, you said first mate for charisma. But I will just a suggestion. Have, like, I'm about to say the Busan has the uh, what is it, athletic skill, or whatever. I don't mm -hmm. have much intimidation or persuasion skill. I have more athletics than anything else, so I don't know. That's okay, the... if you if that's what Kill would would speak up for, then then absolutely. I, I, I we're having this conversation both in and out of character, so yeah, it's like no, I, I, I kind of broke. I'm just reading now. <laughs> Kill is just reading. So um, let 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 me go down with a with a hypothetical list for you guys. If we if uh, kill takes bosun, that leaves captain at Zeke, first mate at Lucelle, bosun at kill, quartermaster at Zashi, and then either Cherie or Panasiver <laughs> can be cook. Um, Panasiver does not have any s specific skill with medicine. She does have good knife skill. And a decent constitution score. Will she poison us? Is Shri at all talented in medicine? No. Or herbalism kits? Not in the slightest. <laughs> God, I we would, need to hire a, a healer. I would, I would there... suggest that um, Lucelle might be a good. Uh, Surgeon with her with her healing magic. Does she okay. have medicine trained as well? Lucelle? You're muted. Yeah, she's okay. happy to fill whatever roles needed. Do you have medicine skill? Um couple checking. She does not have it trained. Okay. Well, something to think about. You guys don't need to uh, decide right now. Um, but that is specifically useful because I am introducing some more actions that you can do while traveling. Um, if you scroll down, activities while traveling, there are specific ones that all tie into... Or almost all tie into your uh, role on the ship. First mate, captain, quartermaster, bosun. Most of these are specific, but everybody can fish. Everybody can uh, try and notice threats, things like that. And so these things would be instead of trying to learn a skill during the day, you could do one of these things. So going forward, when navigating via the ship, the, that is going to be the quartermaster's role. Mm, this, oh man, this is actually interesting. I just want to make sure everybody understands that we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. I get it. <clears throat> ah, so I can do uh, listening threats. 
So could Lucelle be both first mate and like a cook? Uh, no. One of the specific rules is that you can't occupy more than one role, and no, and no two people can occupy the same role. It's okay. to provide a clear chain of command. Got it. Got it's it. like it. the, there's the captain and there's the first mate, but the first mate is not like a co-captain who can also do captain things. They are very specifically the person who is in charge of the crew when the captain says do a thing. Yeah. I don't know about all y'all, but Zeke is a smidge uncertain about Cherie being the cook. What's wrong? Uh, why? Just, why would that stress you cook. out? I don't think Kill is aware of our 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 Lady Cherie's proclivities. What about would you would you prefer Cherie at first mate then? Just not cook. Fair. Wait, hold on. I, I I vaguely remember something happening in the cave. I don't remember exactly, but something. Didn't, didn't we try something, or someone tried to cook, and it did not work out? There was an incident with some mushrooms. That's was what it was, wasn't it? <laughs> cooking some meat, and uh, we had our nice conversation, one on one, of, you know. Things that I enjoy. <laughs> yeah, you you became aware to some degree. All right. Okay. All yeah, right. she don't need to oh, cook. <laughs> <laughs> What's the opposite of let her cook? Stop her from cooking. <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold on! Hold on! Hold <laughs> on! Oh, yeah, I'll take first mate then, because I do have a good intimidation and an excellent persuasion. Okay. Nice. Rawr, I'll eat you. Rawr. <laughs> I'll fucking gut you in the middle of the night and eat you toast first. Now get up in that rigging. Um, okay. Uh, which, so, so then, Lucel, what do you prefer between surgeon and cook? And as if it will fill the final role. Do you want surgeon because you've got magic and stuff, or yeah. do you want I think cook that because that's where your interests lie? Her interest is... It I doesn't preclude she'll... you from ever cooking. It's yeah, just yeah. the specific role on the ship of <laughs> cook. She'll go, she'll go it's just a sign there. on the kitchen. <laughs> no <laughs> entry unless you look like this, and it's eight different pictures of pandas ever in different forms. <laughs> yeah. Drawn with her caricature. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I'm uh, uh, surgeon. Okay. Hell yeah. So, if there are any specific things that you guys would like to do, or uh, 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 actions that you want to add to the, these lists of things that you can do in the Travel at Sea handout, I'm I have a question. Area open. I'm yes. I'm sorry, I have a question. So, draw a map. So, yes. we can just... It says it's no ability check required. You can just draw a map whenever, or... Because it's not a specific thing, like not captain or anything. So it's essentially it just means that given the tools required to be a captain, you would be able to, given enough time, plot your course back wherever you have been, building a map, which so is very useful and has actually. Uh, it is. It says a ship's captain usually does it. Uh, I would say anyone with navigator and water vehicles tools who has been mm. with the ship can do this. So, to say. Uh, for example, is. if you guys look at the map, uh, there actually has been, I believe uh, Zeke was drawing this red line uh, showing oh, where you guys... Well. Oh, I'm not sure who it was. Right? Okay, you got, uh, uh, there was a red line that was being drawn that showed most of the places that you guys had went. Uh, yeah, I need to. I need to add going out and then back in and then out and then back in. If you yeah, want to, both to remove it, I'm happy to be the one doing it as the captain. Yeah, sure. Super mega bitches. Okay, I will delete what is currently there, and if you want to start doing that, you're welcome to do that. If you do that as an activity, I would say up to this point, you have like taken time to do that, so you can draw up to where you are currently, which is just uh, uh, a couple miles off of the coast. Here. Um, this also segues nicely into deciding where uh, you guys would like to go. Um, 
next? You were try you decided you would like to travel via the shipping uh, uh, lanes uh, all down to Nobani. Yes. Yeah, all right. Can I can I get a uh, navigate check from the quartermaster if you would like to prevent the ship from being lost? Alternatively, I will just have the captain make the check. But there is a possibility that he come lost. Uh, so where are we based on the on the map there? Have we moved at all? You guys are essentially right here, just a few miles off of the coast here. Okay, got it. You you just left late at night last night and rested offshore. Peaceful nights, flying breeze. Um, what do I roll it? What attribute do I roll it at? Uh, I need a, uh, a wisdom survival check. Oof. Yikes. Oh. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> can I re-roll that? Once per session, absolutely. <laughs> Not great. At least we're in the trade lights. All right, this was actually a DC ten because oh. you are in open sea with clear skies and land <laughs> in sight. Um. Yeah, it'd be pretty fucked up if we were able to get lost when we can see the shore. <laughs> yes, exactly. When you guys are like, yeah, a couple miles, five miles offshore. Uh, I don't know about you, I think we should turn left. Alright. Where'd the sky go? <laughs> what the fuck is water? Is upside down? Fucking magnets, how do they work? We, we somehow yeah, end up in the astral sea. Jesus. This is cool, but I'm terrified. All right. How do we nullify gravity? With... Wrong C! Wrong C! <laughs> no. <laughs> With that check, you are able to stand uh, beside Zeke and guide him, uh, <sighs> making sure that do not get lost. Uh, though you're not the best, Zeke knows this area fairly well. Uh, 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 and is mostly fine without your help as you join what might be a slightly thinner crowd of ships uh, than you've seen the past few days. I imagine Zashi points one direction and then C kind of reaches over and nudges her hand over <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Well, just like coughs a little bit <laughs> and like glances to one side or the other look i'm learning i, I don't know I'm, I'm just trying to be subtle and not embarrass you honestly i uh, i think i think embarrassment it, we're far past that <laughs> i went to prison <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's a mark of honor for some folks. <clears throat> true, true, true. I mean, at least you didn't get put in a bag. <sighs> no, yeah, you were fully going to be eaten, so. Yeah, yeah, so. By I, one of your own, no less. Weird. I don't. We have that works. That, that seems to be a, a racism to me, but. Luck. <laughs> Aren't they literally called Dragonborn? I mean, I mean someone of my yeah, race and my brother, so it makes sense. I mean, yeah, but I mean, your mama ain't a dragon, is she? I've never met her. Okay, so but she, she could be. She could. I hope so. Feel that like brings up a lot of questions. Sashi is firmly planted in not racist town. 
I mean, it's possible, I guess, but I'm pretty sure I heard folks whose mamas are, are dragging the spin, getting crazy magics and shit. I can't help it. I'm from a metropolitan area. We talk about I, race very openly. I'm, you I, should have heard the shit my dad would say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I get it. I understand you don't know no better. I'm just, you know, out here on the sea, don't matter what shape you is, just what you can do. I'm just sitting on the steps with my, my head in my hands wondering, it's, it's, it's my mom? Actually, I have never actually thought of that. Who is my mom? I would think so. Who is my mom? Wait. <laughs> I'm all say. Cuddy, just saying, uh, you seem to be a little distraught. I'm not the smartest man alive, but I'll go ahead and throw out a fair assumption. Your mama ain't a dragon. She's probably just a person who got dragonish features like yourself. Maybe she's as big as one. Maybe, but uh, that's a uh, virgin. A little too far into the Yo Mama territory. Who are you calling a virgin? Who are you calling to For uh, someone who's we just met, and I feel like that might be a little inconsiderate. Fair enough. For uh, a man who seems to be in distress about his heritage. Oh, I'm upset. All I know is I grew up in a gutter, so, like, you know. Not much, I know. <laughs> hey, me too. Ah, there you go. Go to gang. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I mean, the gutter had an orphanage in it, but it wasn't no nice orphanage. The gutter had times. an orphanage. Anyways, point being, I don't much care if your mama was a dragon or not. You're talented with a knife. You seem, at the very least, relatively trustworthy for now. And that's all that matters to me. Nice. That's all I could ask for. Some more trust. This is a nice crew. This is a good crew. Yeah, I mean, I didn't pick him, but I feel like I got a decent roll of the dice, so to speak. Honestly, I'm very oh. glad that it was the rest of you that I got to get out with. Yeah, some of those other folks in there seem a little, uh, skullduggerous. I think they would have liked me a little too much. Uh, <laughs> at least until they got to. <laughs> no offense, man. Mm. I don't think they'd have the stomach for your uh, predilections. <laughs> yeah. Although you might have a stomach for them. <laughs> Still a shame I didn't get the noble. Yeah. Oh, you mean the rain blaster man? Mm-hmm. I was planning on having him that, that night, but plans moved forward. I mean, I had a little nibble. He's a little bit sour, to be honest. I think that brain blasty shit gets all through his flesh or something. Mm. Brain but, blast. Uh, if, if, like, I mean, it's a moot point now, but if you let me know, I, I would have saved a bit for you. I mean, maybe I wouldn't. I was kind of in the moment at the time, but I would have thought about it. I would have wanted to. I would have wanted to think. <laughs> yeah. I considered it. Um, can I take this moment to ask, um... Because this is the first time, I'll say that you can also do something else, Zashi. But in the future, if you want to use the navigate option as your quartermaster, that will preclude you from uh, trying to learn a skill or doing anything else. 
Um, oh, okay. But j just going for it for today, because I did fully explain that, I won't impose that rule. Uh, and also, I kind of forced you into doing it, because I want to show you all how it worked. Um, Thanks, babe. So, you guys can do any of these things from your from this list that you qualify for. You can also all spend the day working on learning a skill. Uh, I'll go around and ask everybody. We'll go to Chris last so Chris gets a, can get an example of what this looks like. Um, we'll start in Discord order. Lucelle, what would you like to do today as a surgeon? No, but we can add to that and like if you and I want to work on something as uh, that a surgeon can do, for example, like cure X number of pe sick people yeah. uh, in a day. Yeah. If you're, yeah, if you're carrying sick people, for example, yeah. we could absolutely come up with something like yeah, that if that becomes relevant. That. Yeah, I guess you, but uh, if you but just want to do your skill, then, then yeah, we can resolve she'll, that. She'll, she'll work on focus. She'll focus on getting uh, water vehicles. Yeah, uh, no, I think she's Water vehicles, or... water vehicles is what you were working on. You're at DC 15 of that. You're you're up to adding your wisdom modifier to uh, yeah, yeah. roll it. Water vehicles, yeah. If you would like to change, you can. No, I think I think we're focused on steering. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just so that you um, can do that in the, in the danger. All right. Out of curiosity, would um would there be like something that could be done? By the surgeon to make future curing or or treatment easier. Uh, if, if at all, or, I or mean, we it. could we could work up something where you're able to start synthesizing healing potions. Is the easiest thing I could imagine to do that, right? Like to pre-stock in case of emergencies. Mm -hmm. But you guys would need to get something on the ship to be able to do that with, right? I would imagine, yeah. uh, but absolutely, I would love something like that, yeah. or or yeah. preparing diamonds for revivify or something. Um, for now, Lucelle, can you roll me? You have a pl plus fifty. Oh shit! Yeah, she's at fifteen now, so it's it's it's, it's d twenty plus her skill her. Uh, uh it's just yeah, just roll wisdom. Yeah, flat wisdom. So D20 plus wisdom modifier or just D20? D20 plus wisdom modifier, so flat okay, wisdom. Just click wisdom on the sheet. Uh, 15 is your DC. You will succeed and go up to DC 16 Sweet. for the next day. Hell yeah. Uh, Shuri, what about you? I'm going to keep working on carpentry. Carpenter's Tools, you're at DC 14, you still roll a flat D20. We are looking for a 14 or higher. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, not uh, today. Is this an you make... Check? This is an bit. Oh, Lucelle would have had minus three. Oh, that, that did not increase either. Yeah, uh, it is an ability check. Could I use my magical so secrets? Or my magical guidance, which would only allow me to reroll once at the cost of. Sure. This is an ability check that you could reroll. It doesn't give a specific time frame. Does right. I would imagine this is like magical guidance the whole time you're learning. Pretty much listening to my elders. I will use, oh. my, once. I'll use my once per. Fuck this. Once per Ooh. session. I All right. Third. Here we go. In any game in over fucking three months, man. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Nineteen. Oh, there we go. Oh, you go up to DC go. fifteen. <laughs> Further for uses wow. of carpenter's tools will in let you add the relevant modifier. How the fuck did that happen? Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> Cherie spends the entire day making three different wooden ducks. The first one, 
it's kind of middling. You've seen her make most of you have seen her make something like this before for kill. It's mm. it's pretty blocky, you know, in terms of a duck. The sec the second one it's from the far right. It, it it's looking really good. It's looking really good, and then it seems to just snap in half. Not only the head coming up from the body, but both the body and head snapping in half no, as well. Like long ways. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, you you see Sharif throw the two pieces off of the side. But the third duck, the third duck, she takes the time to, to like, find the wood grain and actually the pattern of sort of the, the, uh, uh, running, that was already running through the wood, she uses to create, like, a very wing-like pattern on the side. It's, it looks, as she sets it, it, like, afloat in one of the barrels of water that you guys have for a moment, like a living duck, if you glance at it. The second one, if you threw it to the wall, it just magically sets on fire. Yeah. <laughs> it's just fire in the corner <laughs> as she's oh, yeah. working on the third one. Uh, let's go to Zashi. <sighs> Zashi, how would you like to spend your day? You were working on uh, Navigator's Tools. Yeah, uh, you could that. also do... I think there's another Quartermaster-specific ability. Yeah. Um, I considered, uh... Switching? No, I considered uh, doing something a quartermaster adjacent, but I should mm -hmm. probably work on navigator's tools. Okay. Um, can I assist in any way with no. my it is proficiency? No, this is each person okay. is learning. They're essentially learning from you, uh, okay. but they're uh, they're not uh, <clears throat> able to benefit any more than they already are. All right. Um, uh, but, 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 can I get a flat D20? You are at a DC 11. We're looking for an 11 or higher. An 8 is not going to do it, and you already have used your once per session. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, think, uh, can I have a mine? If you so wish. That yeah, is your decision. Alright, Zashi. I... Once more. Uh... Oh, wow. a little, it was a little bit better. A little bit better, though. <laughs> Thanks. Every little bit matters. Um, not in this case, Just man. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Alright, then we'll go to Zeke. Besides steering the ship, uh, it is a beautiful sunny day, so there's no ability to stealth the ship in fog or mm -hmm. anything like that. I mean, we've no reason to at the moment, but yeah. Um, I would like to know, like, what the situation with other ships around us is. Um, as you look around, you can see that there are, uh, probably eight ships in view. Normally in this shipping lane, you'd expect it to be in the double digits, especially as it's nearing. Okay. Um, would it uh, take any kind of <laughs> amount of travel time to maybe hail down one of the ships and and just talk to them for a moment? Uh, I don't think it would take any specific travel time, but I would say that if you were going to do that as captain, that would be like sort of like noticing threats, and it would be your thing for the day to pick a ship and yeah. match speed with them and, and make your way over. Uh, are yeah. you looking for any specific kind of ship, or are you just going to go for one of the closest, closer ones? Um... Potentially one that's damaged, or one that's uh, traveled from um, New Hosnia, Hosnia, or New New Hosnia, as it should be. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, and especially sure. looking for, for a ship that might have run into or seen um, the Sparrow. Sure, but... but that that is not really an answer to the do you go for the closest ship or like you can't by seeing see a ship that was a it near your brother. Yeah, no, I, I I know. I'm just what's what's my best guess? Like if there's a ship that's clearly coming from I don't know south, then that would be something that I obviously okay they're coming from the right direction. Okay. okay. All right, so, so so someone from behind you or just barely ahead of you heading the same direction, yeah. um, hope uh, uh, 
may more inclined to travel farther if they're injured. Okay, give me a perception check to see, to notice about the world around you. Okay. Ten. Uh, you glance ahead and you can see that uh, two of the three ships that are uh, slightly ahead of the third, which is slightly closer to you, are injured. They're both what appear to be merchant vessels. They're flying uh, flags of independent contractors that you don't recognize. Um, probably new started up in the time that you've been away from the sea. But the third ship, slightly maybe 50 feet behind them, trailing almost protectively, is much larger. And... Mm -hmm. You can see fairly large guns uh, on the sides of it. And I'll say... As in, like cannons? As in like cannons, yes. Okay. Um, I have, sorry, I'm, I just would like a quick refresher on um, like where cannons sit in terms of being common. Not very. Uh, outside of the... Uh, Galar Stub, they are very uncommon on ships. Uh, you're more likely to see something like a Balliste or okay. on a military vessel, something like, something like a Trebuchet. And Feyn ships do have their own kinds of magical cannons, but they're more like arcane enhancers than standalone yeah. devices. Uh, like, I guess, what percentage of combat ships would have cannons? Well, he saw uh including or not including the navies of the world because the navies of the world are very big mm, and they got the funding I mean, like in terms of out, merchant out vessels of ones, and pirates you run and... Into. like if you would just go in about your your sailing day that's sort of, that's i i don't know that i could give you a, a meaningful percentage because okay. you like uh that's all right You you oh, have seen I, I'll put it this way you have seen cannons before <laughs> you have never been on a ship that has cannons before okay. except as oh. part of a raid they're yeah. like yeah, they're like cost a lot too. cost a lot and and are st like the knowledge of how a cannon works isn't common knowledge yeah. we know yeah. about powder bricks and fuses and shot yeah. and and how you load all that stuff but in a, a your characters would have no type of idea about that they know oh, that yeah. they make very loud bet like you're not cavemen you guys know yeah. vaguely what the science is but it's not something that you could do in yeah. like six seconds sort of sort you don't of know thing. that you don't know the minutiae of it right i'm you not saying that to be i mean <laughs> right you you you're like oh yeah i i that's had... subaru how the fuck does this work like, exactly yeah, nah, um okay so uh the third vessel in the back and as you're looking at it longer i will say even with a 10 you can <laughs> determine that this is a galar stub naval vessel um you're unsure okay. about the ships ahead of it. They're not. You can't mm. see any lines or chains connecting the ships together, um, mm. and it is back enough that it could fire on them. Or, but it also has a pretty good range of fire in every direction around them. Um, uh, much farther to your south, more than I would say a dozen miles to your south, almost out of line of sight, is a ship maybe twice the size of yours that you can't make out the flags on because of the distance and it doesn't appear to be injured at least from that far away but you're not super Can sure i use my telescope uh oh yeah sure G give me another perception to simulate advantage all right well where are we perception much better. much better okay uh, you look behind you and are able to see. Uh, second, go get thing that I don't 
describe it wrong. I need to be able to look at it. Hold it. Uh, okay, you can see a large three-masted ship. Uh, it appears to be a heavily rigged vessel of some kind. They're not flying any specific flag. They have uh, large white sails with nothing painted on them. Um, but you do spot with your crossbow and your eight, or with your uh, uh, spyglass and your uh, uh, eighteen six large mounted uh ballista on swivel mounts as well as deployable um rowboats on the side hanging from police all right so it's clearly like a a combat vessel a combat like a vessel merchant. or a very like well a merchant. defended merchant vessel okay. it doesn't have the same like plating that the uh ship that the vessel in front of you has does it appear to be damaged at all no all right you said it had no flags Sorry. it is not flying any specific flag um given that we're traveling for some time would it be possible to sit, talk to both of them or just one uh i would say yes but if you have to talk to the one in front first if you're going to yep. talk to both of them, you have to talk to the closer one. I'm okay to do that. Okay, that and that is the military vessel, respecify. Yeah, and I'll I'll let the uh, the other crew know what I'm doing. Um, and uh, also to be a little wary of the 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 colors of the ship. Um, yeah, and they can I get a quick reminder as to um. Whether I was captured by sub or um, main room. I I believe it. I was gonna say I w I thought it was Fainrun as well. So that that should be correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Got it. And to my understanding, would they have? I mean, I know they're often at war, so probably not. But would they have, like, communicated my capture to other people? Or probably not. Uh... It's hard to say the degree. Yeah. But not outside of their... Them, themselves. Yeah. By much, I, I would imagine. Uh... Uh, it, right. it, they, I, they're not in the business of sharing information with their enemies. Yeah, no, for I don't any know, reason. Uh, yeah. I figured I might check just in case. No, yeah, that it's a good question, and I, I had to ruminate. To y'all all had to think out loud for a second. Sorry about. That. You're good. All righty, let's um, let's go talk to that ship. I think. Okay. Uh. How are you going to approach this ship? Um, I mean, basically just speed up a bit on the on the lanes. Um, do we have any like bells or or horns or something that that might be used to hail the ship? Not that you haven't already bought or discussed with. Okay. Uh, yeah. um, What about that one? <laughs> um, there you go. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, mm, I'm, I'm assuming a ship would have some means of hailing. I would agree. <laughs> it's a flare. However, system, usually. Yeah. Flare. Flares, no. If flag system is yeah. usually it. I just w I would imagine that kind of thing would normally be on a specific person, and most of the specific people went over the side of the ship. I mean, and, we did uh, loot them, but yeah. You did loot them. This is true. All right. Uh, D three. There's a big bell. There's a very lo loud-looking conch shell, uh, and 
or there's a mirror or a D4 and a flood and four will be flags. So you want me to roll a D4? Or... Roll a D4 for what kind of thing this ship has because I genuinely didn't plan it out. Two. Two was the conch shell. You've got a very loud conch shell that you could blare. All right, that's probably what I was going to use anyway. So I'll uh, I'll take that. Um, yeah. Sparks, hold the wheel for me for a moment. Got uh, it, Captain. Yeah, bound over to the the front. Swing up onto the onto the prow of the ship, and <laughs> all all the breath in my lungs just. Okay. Like Hell wave yeah. at the at the ship. Just blew into the console. It just says little little wee. The cell flies up to the crow's nest and takes out the spyglass and watches the other ship. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys, uh, immediately see as the ship ahead of you, uh, begins to pull in its mainsail and oars sprout from the bottom of the ship and begin to, uh, like, not row, but essentially stick straight out into the water. Uh, and you actually see that they break, that they, like, break so hard that more than one ore snaps and, like, the broken end is pulled in and a new orc is deployed from that slot. Uh, as they come about fairly hard. Uh, uh, go back to the wheel. Uh, not quite drifting as much as stopping and slightly turning their ship. Uh, hard to pour. I'm... I'm definitely not coming along broadside um, until like the last moment to so that it's it's clear that I'm not coming in, a, in an attack position. Yeah, you you basically go straight on and yeah. you watch as they uh, uh, row basically into your uh, way. Huh. Uh, so you I will take you guys to this map as you draw closer and closer is there anything specific that you guys would like to do as you begin to be able to make out individual peoples on the opposing deck um are they close enough to hear shouting not quite like, yet um is there any like specific pattern of, of blowing the conch that might signal that we're wanting to talk rather than fight uh yes there would be. I imagine that that would be the one that you gave initially. I'm going There's to... There's some sort of parlay. Yeah. Settle a spell, disguise self, and make myself appear like a human woman. Okay. Still the same outfit and everything, but just, like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. The fey features are gone. All right. And don't let me forget that we haven't resolved uh, Kill's daily thing. Uh, you guys draw closer and closer. Uh, Panazivir remains below deck as you in drawing the ship ever closer. Uh, as you get to this point, you are definitely within shouting range. Uh, and you see one of the figures uh, walk, uh, walk over to the balustrade and say... Hey, bring it in closer. We'll throw you a rope. Does Lucille get... see anything weird with her spyglass as they're approaching? Yeah. Uh, you would note that every single person aboard the ship appears to be wearing uh, magical armor. For Lucelle, this is a first. She's never been to the Galar stub before. She's had no reason to interact with their soldiers outside of uh, in uh, uh, the first city that you guys went to. Um, did we not see some in Musta Close? Yeah, outside of Musta Close. Uh, this would be the first ship you would see crewed by such uh, figures. Uh, and many of them are wearing different, uh, uh, wearing a specific uniform. You remember the red uniform of those who carried the uh, 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 magical 
you're not even sure what to call them magical crossbows they seem to launch beams of energy at you uh when when you encountered them before they seem to be the ones manning these large wheeled contraptions that you know are called cannons you can see them uh, rushing from one side of the ship to the other all holding ropes with grappling hooks all right in which case I'll, yeah slowly come around and pack up next to them yep uh, as you get in they uh 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 Ma they've uh, been matching speed with you, slowly letting out more and more of their sails until you're both moving alongside each other, and you are able to... This is the part when I, I rotate the boat and not you guys. <laughs> we can move ourselves up. I was about to say, this, this is the boat's alive. <laughs> there you go. Uh, And I'll uh, just sort of come up here to be near the, the other ship's wheel and, and, and whatever, whoever the captain is, and I'll give a wave. Hail there. Uh, and I'll pull out my, like, I'll just kind of flash it like a bit of a badge, the um, bounty hunting permit thing. Um, being, Hail and well met says a relatively mechanized voice. Well, man, uh, sorry your voice took me off guard. Uh, um, regardless, um, I'm Z. Uh, I have been looking for a, a crew, uh, well, hunting them down. Um, and I figured Seeing as y'all have a little bit of damage, I might as well ask whether that might be something you might know. Uh, I'm looking for the, the crew of the Sparrow. Yeah. A pleasure. I'm Captain Loom. Uh, and you see his faceplate, uh, uh, there's a hiss of steam from the middle and it divides uh, and you see the swarthy face that would not look uh, out of place uh, aboard any of the ships that you've been on, Zeke. Uh, a sailor through and through with a long, tangled beard that disappears into his armor, which you can now see is very, like, thick to accommodate his uh, 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 heavily muscled build. Not bodybuilder, but uh, power lifter. Yeah. Uh, this man looks like he could probably bench several uh, uh, cannons at oh, once. Oh uh, my! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just keg body type. Yeah. Sashi's so so she's very gently waving at him. Hi. I gotta say, just curiosity. How often does that beard get stuck in all of them mechanisms? <laughs> I gotta grease it down every morning. Can you really help with that, sir? That sounds rough, man. Anyway, so... In terms of the Sparrow, I am yeah. familiar with its proclivities. These two ships were injured in a recent storm. We found them high and dry on a beach. We're able to tow them back. We're taking them back to port as they're registered merchants with Galaria Navy. Well, uh, mighty good of you. Um... That looks like a Mustaclose crest. Yeah. Are you just registered? Yeah, just registered. We're trying our hand at mercantile sorts. We uh, ran into a little bit of weather trouble, but uh, we're up and at them again. And we recently killed a dragon. I mean, yeah. We, we did also do that. Um, you... And he'll glance over at the uh, uh, very heavily armored, possibly first mate standing next to him. Yeah, I'll believe that one when I see it. Uh... Oh, we have the head. Give, give, give me a second, and I'll go into the captain's quarters and come out with the mounted skull. <laughs> this. Now, that's quite the thing. Uh... Also, technically, we killed three. Four, actually. There were some dragon turtles also. Yeah, and the big one had a baby. 
And you know, dragon Delicious. turtle is really tasty. Tastes delicious. Yeah, very fatty, like so turtle, succulent. but like a little bit more gamey. It's it's good shit. Um. Anyways, uh, have you? You can see he is very like eyebrows meeting in the middle, brow furrowed, looking down at you all, holding this trophy, like with the dagger sticking out of the. The yeah, and I've just like I've just put I've just like put it down, and I'm using the the backboard of it just to rest my arms on. He's he's like ten feet up, and the sun it, the sun's not quite in your eyes, but it's casting yeah. it's it, it, his shadow is coming down onto the boat uh, uh, that you guys next to where you guys are standing, and you can kind of just see in his body language like the struggle to accept and believe what's in front of him and not just go, well, I've seen people who can make forgeries because yeah. there's something about all your guys' earnestness that most people wouldn't share this like that. Yeah. They would... Uh, over their he's puppeteer like, in the dragon's head. <laughs> I... I'm shocked to say that that corroborates some of the things I've heard in recent days. Seems like uh, that storm turned up bottom of the ocean pretty well. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, I'll that's when we killed yeah. this dragon, I died. Fucking sucked. Look, you get giggles. Get, just hold, hold on a moment. I know you're enthusiastic about new folks. Uh, I just, you, you, you don't want to stress them out. So much information. None of you strike me as holy um, folk. Where would you have gone to get that kind of healing? Uh... We uh, had a chat with the uh, a druid or, or, or druidic folks that we were uh, doing a bit of work for. They were, really? Yeah. Um, where did that, where? Oh, point. <laughs> she'll look. She'll look at um, Zeke after he asks where, and kind of like with her eyes, like maybe we don't tell him about the secret yeah. society we found. <laughs> It's, it's not too important. Um, I'm sure they moved on by now anyway. Uh, but the question that I always wanted to ask is, have you heard any news of the Sparrow as I am looking to uh, bear down upon it with uh, vicious animosity? Great vengeance and furious anger. Yeah, that too. Just that it was spotted to weeks ago birthed it you don't uh sources say that it left headed north just maybe a week and a half ago all right that's uh much thank you and uh well wish you well on your travels hopefully you don't have the misfortune to run into any dragons like us <laughs> or if I you think... do Hopefully now you it is, and get some trophies. I think now it is my turn to ask the questions. Yeah, sure. What you, what you wondering? What business do unhired mercenaries have traveling this patrolled area? Oh, uh, well, we got a couple goodies from the dragon and uh, hoping to sell them. Are you interested in showing off your cargo to us? I mean, I'm sure there's something I could use in my work. Potentially. Uh, oh, can I insight that? Yeah. Yes, you may. Respectfully, I'm a little apprehensive to, you know, open my coin purse in front of a strength, so to speak. You don't have a warrant. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Zashi, that was a very carefully worded request to see the interior of your ship, as you're not a, uh, uh, you, you launched from a Galarian, um, port, but you are not a Galarian-aligned ship, so they're not required to help you, but they're also not entitled to just walk onto your ship. Your ship is not property of the Galarian uh, 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 military or navy. Um, uh, I mean, um, yeah, I would like to see some 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 paperwork. 
uh, that that says that you can come onto our ship and look at our stuff. Merely I, I keep a very good record. I can tell you all about it. You definitely don't have to come on board. Don't worry about it, Sparks. Um, what sort of dragon parts are you willing to sell? How much are you willing to let me examine or determine the veracity of the species? I'm sure uh, I could have someone, and he snaps his fingers, and one of the people uh, below deck, who you're actually not able to see because of the, the walls will run out and uh, uh, run over to this guy, and they actually uh, will grab your, grab onto the rope and pull your ship just a little bit closer. Uh, respectfully, I like to be paid for my information and work. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind telling me what you're looking for and uh, what you'd be willing to give for it. I'm sure we could find some monetary compensation. He'll stride down the stairs, very, uh, Cutler Beckett. Uh, and you can see uh, as he steps down, his armor, uh, disengages more and more, but everybody else is still fully suited up. Um, uh, all of those with fully enclosed helmets are still, uh, fully, like, wrapped up. Uh, and... Uh, he, he says, If what you say about a dragon is true, the alchemical powers of its body are not to be thrown away lightly. Those creatures no longer roam the Galar stub for that reason. If I were yeah. to be able to acquire a dragon bone sword for myself, mm -hmm. be more than happy to reward the man that helped me do that. Oh, we have a, a couple of odds and ends from it. Uh, I believe we do have. A uh, half oh. skeleton of a dragon turtle lying around. Yeah, quite so. Um, me too. We got, a, we got a couple bones. We could uh, let you have a look at. I was hoping to fit most of them to the front of my ship. Be a whatever wow. you're willing to part with. But um, I'm sure there's some not important parts. Uh, I'll purchase much... your smallest one at, let's say. A gold a pound, just so I can test it. After that, we'll haggle for your price, determine, depending on the purity. Sparks, is that a reasonable going rate, you think? And I'm thinking about it myself as well. If, if that's a, a reasonable um, price. What do you think, Quartermaster? Hmm... I'm imagining some kind of, like, history check or something. Yeah. I mean, I personally don't know the price. It was a good price. Can yeah. I do a check of some sort? Yeah. Uh, is a very low ball. But... I would say... I would actually say Arcana, because it's specifically knowledge of mm -hmm. how... Oh, it's like, how, how magical things are treated. Or There's in no the market. econ check. No, there isn't. History would be what it was if it wasn't a magical thing. Um, with a 12, uh, dragon bones are usually, uh, pretty pricey. He is, uh, saying that you can set your price for them after. He just wants to buy a very small piece of bone for, like, a gold to test it. Which is not unreasonable, but he, he could do more than a gold's worth with even a shard. Let's, uh... Here. I'll get you a little piece. One that'll fit in the palm of your hand. You can inspect it. If you want to keep it, we'll make it five. And then if you want more, we'll talk about it. That's not fair. Very well. Are uh, these are these people heading to Nobani as well? You have not asked. Yeah, um, I would like to ask. By the way, we're uh, going over Nobani way. We all heading to Nobani together. <laughs> we are. We are escorting these vessels to the docks there. Uh, uh, good to know. Well, uh, if I'm you are headed in the direction, 
we can re-engage our sails and begin moving. We should not let Absolutely. our... Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's be doing that. Alright, they'll tell you to keep all your sails uh, uh, lowered, and they raise all their sails, and now you see especially why they were able to break so sharply. It was not just the oars uh, that they deployed out of the side. Something underneath the uh, vessel gives a roaring sound, and it lurches, and the entire ship lurches forward, overcoming that initial uh, 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 momentum buildup of getting a, sh a ship of that size in motion. Like uh, magical it, mechanical roaring or creature roaring? Like magical mechanical roaring. Like the entire ship creaks at yeah. once and the front of the the very large Galarian vessel raises maybe 10 feet. Right. Got fucking uh, Godzilla in there? Got a goddamn Mecha Godzilla under the, their ship. Um, yeah. Yeah, go down and, uh, pack up what bones of the dragon turtle, uh, I wouldn't necessarily want to, onto the front of the ship. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, yeah, come up with them in a crate, take a, a small one that's small enough to comfortably fit in the palm of a hand. Um, and, uh, Hold it out. I'm not going to throw it because it's. You know, oh my god! Um, but I'll, I'll hold it out. Palm up. Okay. Feel free to take a look. Uh, okay. She will immediately pull out what appears to be some kind of gemstone, which he will uh, uh, hold in his hand, and he murmurs a. A uh, word in Draconic under his breath, and the gem flares to light, and you all uh, uh, see it cast some kind of spell, uh, where the bone in his hand seems to glow, and then a stream of that glow connects from the bone into his forehead, and he closes his eyes, and then the stream snaps, and his eyes open. What did he say in Draconic? Uh, he said, legend lore. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, and he will say, this is authentic. I'm not sure how you brought down this creature. It wasn't too hard. We got two it of them was... at the same time, actually. It was, it was pretty it was dope. Tough. Yeah, it was, it, was... it was a bit tough to take two at the same time, but... We did it. It Who was over players, 120 years players, old. Everybody. Oh, dang. Well, uh, I mean, shame to kill such a magnificent creature, but uh, it was the one who picked the fight, so that's on it. We are not the ones to start fights, we finished them. Yeah. Well, sometimes we start fights that folks be deserving of it. Hey, if we didn't start a fight, we wouldn't have gotten killed. Exactly. Yeah. We got him. We acquired him. Acquired the kill. <laughs> Anyways, uh, now that you're satisfied with the quality, uh, how are you feeling about buying a little bit more for your uh, personal predilections? He will nod, uh, and he calls up, and he says, Smith! And the first mate <laughs> will run down, uh, and you uh, see him descend below decks, uh, and he says, suitable remuneration. How much are you willing to sell? Um, I'm just sort of looking through the, uh, the crate that I've brought up. Basically, pretty much anything that would be necessary to imply the shape of a dragon turtle on the ship's prow. So, I imagine you're trying to keep the head, the shell, and the ribcage. Uh, the ribcage. Yeah, all of the shell. things that give. But, 
Because you only honestly, sword from it, right? Honestly, probably even just the head and the like the flippers. Because so you'd shell, be willing to sell the shell. Um, I think maybe like the front part of the shell, but I mean the majority I of the shell all I come in one piece. Of cell. Most of it would. The rib the ribs connect at the top, but you could saw them off and. Yeah. Like, well, the sell them, the, the, the arm, the arms are, like, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 cause For, a shell so, is just modified ribs. Right, but this yeah, is a dra- yeah. this is a dragon turtle, yeah. so its bottom is like a regular dragon, not like a fully sh- oh, okay. shelled creature. So it's still got that, that underbelly, so its ribs yeah. come down, and that part in between where its sternum was, like, you still would have the sternum bone, yeah. but the, but that is okay. no longer connected. Yeah to the two pieces in which I case guess... probably probably i'd be willing to sell the shell personally um i just want to have basically probably the like the sternum and, and front of the rib cage yeah we, uh, we wouldn't necessarily the need the shell the to make it look like it was a dragon turtle like the, yeah. the boat would be the body of the turtle and then the flippers and the head would be at yeah. the front i don't know why i always pictured like an upside down dragon turtle coming up <laughs> out of the water <laughs> like, like breathing oh. So the the shell would have been on the bottom, the ribs would have been coming up the side, and then the head would be yeah, open an like backwards, right. like a shark sort of was I was what I was picturing. That, that is, I, I, I like your right. thing too though, because yeah. it also still has that armor on like the under front side bit, which is nice. Okay, yeah. uh, he would offer if you will, guys will take the time to bring up. I believe it was like two crate, two boxes full mm-hmm. of these bones, and then the head. He will offer you... I mean, I'll keep the head and the other bones that I want. But right, yeah. the head, neck, and sternum bones will be kept, as and well as the flippers. As well as the flippers. The front flippers, yes. anyway. Yeah. Yes. That would be... We'll say that that was half of what the you have. So if you want to, mm-hmm. say, uh, uh, sell one half of what you have, he will offer you 500 GP for... Uh, the remaining pieces. Um, I'll sort of turn to... Yeah. What, Lucille, wait, wait. Uh, what was the last time you've, you've seen anybody make make this kind of offer for anything? I feel like he can sweeten this up for a little bit. She's going to try to get 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 upsell it so he, he's going to give us a bigger offer. So I guess maybe a persuasion? Um, sure, what do you say? Over to, uh... oh, yeah, she's just like yeah, she's just trying to trump out like how, how big of an achievement it is that we even have these 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 bones in the first place. I'm looking over to. Uh, okay, one to one second. Here. We're doing Sorry. one second. <laughs> Excited. Yes. Uh, Lucelle, you uh, uh, give me a persuasion check. Minus four or minus three there is so. Sixteen. Uh, he will say. Why don't we call it then a hundred per person on the ship? Ah, that's what I was gonna say. Mm-hmm. You still nods and beams, beams happily. I'd be curious to meet that sixth person. <laughs> eh. <clears throat> she doesn't <I> mean, really. <laughs> she doesn't really talk. I'll just sort of shout down through the like the grating in the hall. Zip, could you just pop your head up to? Prove your existence for a moment. Uh, high or low for favorable results? What? Try high. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> she went and hit immediately. Uh, okay. There's uh, a hundred gold for you in it if you do. She will pop out. Uh, in. <laughs> her disguise. She will come out chewing a uh, piece of straw that you're not sure where she got from, uh, wearing a a hat and uh, combing her fingers through her thick white beard. I'm imagining imagining she shape changed the straw and the straw is actually part of her. It's it's actually attached to her tongue. Yeah. Handsome as ever today. What the hell? Hilt, hilt. Tip his hat and raise a hand. 
Kill just is holding in as much laughter as he possibly can. Zip don't talk hilarious. much, but uh, they're a valuable member of the crew, and I'd hate to see them go unrewarded for their efforts. You could see the captain is looking very hard at them. <laughs> uh, contrary to her appearance, she is a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't know that. Let's not assume. Here, right, let's. Right. We'll we'll have the gender conversation with Panas over later. Yeah, <laughs> not when we're making deals. Six hundred. I mean, final offer. He says yeah, without breaking I'm, eye contact with Panas over. I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, that seemed about fair to you, uh, Sparks. Good, right? Tips nose up. That will be appropriate. Sounds good to me. Well, uh, let's just get a gangplank over here so none of it falls overboard. Uh, they very quickly pull out what appears to be, uh, a, like, five foot by eight foot plank of wood, and they hold it longwise, and one of them slaps it, and it extends out 15 feet to bridge between the two ships, and then they lock it in with some kind of mechanism <laughs> on there. Uh, uh, Gosh, I... y'all, uh... <laughs> what in the hell? Y'all got so, so we much magic. Y'all, we stop. Where are and we? All... <laughs> you, you guys are making your way deeper and deeper into the most technologically advanced place in the world. I mean... I'm curious to be getting me some of that stuff, but, uh... I'm imagining it's military issue, yeah. Well, so contrary to popular well, belief, we... things that are military issue are actually like the last ones to get most things because we test it over and over and over to make sure that it's safe. So it's much more stripped down than any civilian version available. I mean, you got like a surplus store around? Uh, not available to everyone. There's no kind of passes his gaze a little dispassionately over all of you. Eh. Um, the... I mean, hey, we're gonna get every event we can to be cleaning up the cities. The lieutenant will come across the gangplank holding a heavy, uh, iron chest, uh, bound with heavy strips. And he will pl uh, place it down in front of you, uh, and open it. Very rigidly, like, moving, and it's that kind of placing it down where it, it it's... Almost like the body language is, uh, like he's upset that he even has to bow his head in front of you to put this thing down, sort yeah. of thing. God, like he keeps his back as straight as possible and stands back up and will step back. Don't worry, Clanker. I'm sure you'll have the body. Again, the uh, Warforged are very, very rare. These, the people with this icon are not Warforged. I'm, I'm, I am not recognizing them as Wolfwatch, I'm recognizing them as people in magical armor, regardless of whether they are or not. Got you, okay. I'm imagining Zeke has little to no understanding of Wolfwatch. Yeah, probably. I mean, you probably heard of them just because you're from the Galar stub, but you've probably never but seen like, one. Seeing seeing a Wolfwatch, his first instinct would not to be to assume they are one, it would be to assume they're someone in armor. Right. Okay. okay. Please don't uh, assume my mechanical status. Thank you. Please don't call them clankers either. That is like. <laughs> clankers sound <laughs> crazy racist. Is that, that is a racial crazy. slur? <laughs> um, that is something they use in Star Wars. And yes, that is a, that is a you, slur that they made. <laughs> you look down into the chest and it's filled with these stacks of coins held in place by these leather binders. Uh, looks like stacks of 25 gold coins each. There are quite a few of them. Just make sure there's the right amount. There is 600 gold in there if all of that gold is real and all of those things are full of real gold. Sashi will make sure of this and uh, dole it out accordingly. 100 each. Okay. As you guys begin taking gold out of the chest, uh, the two people who came over, they did not bring their weapons uh, over. Or they, they're, they're not carrying their weapons, I should say. They're slung over their backs. Um, begin taking the two crates of, uh, I keep wanting to say dinosaur bones, dragon turtle bones, <laughs> and, uh, between the two of them, carry them back across 
the ship and below deck. Uh, Quartermaster, could you please edit the sheet to reflect that you only have uh, the bones of the skull, neck, uh, sternum, and front flippers remaining? I will say, uh, if we do run into each other again, I'll be very curious to see what you make of those. I'd be very curious to see your ship again. I'm sure I'll recognize it. You yeah, say that. A big <laughs> dragon <laughs> turtle on the front. <laughs> uh, I assure you, we mean no trouble with you. I'm sure you uh, couldn't do us too much trouble. So, he... I mean, you seem pretty shocked that we took out the turtle, but uh, regardless. It Perhaps, don't the story. Perhaps the stories are exaggerated. <laughs> they may be. They may not be. Point being, this ain't a pissing contest. It's a friendly <laughs> regard between two trading friends. And I wish you the best of days. Safe travels. Wait. Safe travels. Oh, I have a question. I have a question. Wait, before, before we ended up leaving... Um, and you said that he's not willing to give us information on how to buy or upgrade a ship the way like his is here. Do you think no, not not that. He, so? he, he he said like specific things that they have they're not able to sell uh, because they're they are a military. But I also just had a had a fun little bit where I got to talk about the difference, like how military grade is usually super stripped down. Yeah. Oh, and uh, can you recommend a, a carpenter ship repair folk in a, in a barn? I can recommend every person living in Shipwright City or the Dockworks. They're good people. Alright. I'm just wondering if you have a personal favorite. I know sometimes some uh, carpenters try to pull a fast one on you. He, he kind of says in a way that feels very rote, as a member of the Galarian Navy, I can recommend the craftsmanship of all those we protect. <laughs> wow. You I sure mean... are a bag of fun. <laughs> Wait, you put well, uh, seriously. <laughs> if... I'm sure he'd be a lot more fun if he wasn't on duty. Oh, yeah. I I'm sure. <laughs> well... If you ever get off duty, maybe we'll have some drinks loosening you up. You can actually tell me what you think. But, regardless, swell meeting you, swell taking your money and giving you bones. I shall see you if I see you. Um, he, he goes to respond, and one of the soldiers runs over to him and whispers something in his ear. And he looks confused, looks at the guy, looks up towards the front, and says, Yes, uh, we have to be away. Cut the lines. Uh, and turns very brusquely and starts striding back up uh, the deck as these two soldiers um, go along and, and just with hatches start chop, like going along yeah. and taking out the things uh, as this guy goes across and seems to disengage the gangplank from this side. Their ship very, very quickly begins to pull away as your sails and everything are still uh, not deployed. Um, one thing that I would like to say before they're pulling away uh, is Zeke would like to um, lean over to Zashi. Hey, Sparks, you uh, got any mind reading magic? I sure would like to know what they're thinking. Oh, gosh. Do I? Let me check. Don't be too uh, obvious about it, but. Uh... Hey, what are y'all thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Goes over to the side of the boat like, hey. Tell me what you know. Un unfortunately, I don't have anything exciting like that. Uh, might be worth looking into, but uh, anyways. Yeah, reading minds would be fun. Fair winds. Alvita the same. Don't Goodbye. Goodbye. Sexy they were sailor so man. No up time. Gods. <sighs> uh -huh. 
No, yeah, he had like a full broomstick up his ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw it in the back of his throat. To be honest. Uh, yeah, you guys watch that ship accelerate faster and faster away from you towards the other two ships. Mm -hmm. Yes, going again. So oh, that last bit was kind of weird. <laughs> uh, we'll, be, we'll resolve that in one second, Josh. What mm -hmm. were you saying, Kel? No, I was saying that last bit was kind of weird. I don't know. I, I feel like I can't really get past that. He whispered in his ear, and then they left very fast. Who knows? Maybe they were doing military business. I mean, they probably got some news or some such. Maybe they uh, knew that you, we were uh, we were baddies from prison. Ooh. I somehow doubt that, but uh, if you have something, I'll get that impression. If you have something you'd like to do to try and figure out what these guys were up 